Here you go, boys. Here you go. Take that. Nicely done. Good job. Well done. Well done. Hey, guys. I screwed that up. Give me back that GRM flap. You're actually doing a loose form on the egg tank. That's what you are. There you go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay, guys. Good job. Heroic fix. Bill, you want to do the honors on this one, or you want me to? Okay. This uh, this guy, they brought a car. Truly awful. Uh, parts are un utterly unobtainable. It was badly engineered. Known for overheating. Known for breaking axle shafts. Known for breaking transmissions. Uh, this car came to this country. They ran it sold for about a year and a half. They sold about 30 of them because they were so horrible. These guys thought that would be a good car to race. They brought it. It promptly blew up in spectacular fashion about eight minutes into the race. And then they realized that there was probably only one other engine for this car within about 700 miles. They found that engine. They convinced the guy who owned that engine to get to load it into his car, drive down from Vermont, and bring it to them. The guy showed up in the dead of night. They, uh, they tried to put the engine in and they realized it wasn't exactly the same engine, so they made one good engine out of two bad ones. Got it into the car, got out this morning, ran all the way to the checkered flag. And they made everybody's breakfast. Olympics! 917, the Peugeot French Toast! The I Got Screwed trophy goes to. Uh, this team tried to do everything right. They were with us in New Hampshire at the last New England race in New Hampshire. Uh, they had all kinds of mechanical problems and they really did get screwed. They won this trophy there too. And I gave them a lot of advice on how to not screw themselves next time. And they screwed themselves by taking my advice. My advice essentially was, you know, you guys just need to go get a bunch of new parts and you need to just start over with this thing and you need to do it right. You need to stop kind of trying to patch it up. You need to start from the ground, do it all over and do it right. They said, okay. And they naively went and ordered some brand new parts from the website. The bearings that they got were just the wrong bearings. And they didn't know that until they assembled the entire car in the pits right here and then drove it over to us in the middle of the day and said, okay, we think we're ready to race. And while we were looking at the car, the lower end knock started and got worse and got worse and got terminal. Well, I'd say that counts as getting screwed because they tried to do the right thing. They just got the wrong piece. They stuck it out anyway. I think that they're still here. So this is Team Whamulance, the red Daytona never saw because it never left the pit space. There he is, there he is. At least you're winning something. Good job, good job, nicely done. Now we get to the most from the least, sorry about that. Now this, this was a truly spectacular output. Uh, these guys are running top five right up until the end of the day in a car that should not be running at all. Uh, car finally blew up, did they get back out? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Did they, did they? So the rear end finally let go on this thing, but frankly, the rear end should have let go on this thing about 30 minutes into the race, and they were fast. Now, we've been through this car, it is a bone stock, super terrible. It is exactly what it is. They stripped it down. I think it's really light because it's all rusted away. So the most from the least award, very well earned for these guys, goes to 131, the green Fiat. There you go, boys. Good job. Good job. And the car didn't even try to kill you this time. So that's good. Nicely done. Nicely done. Good job. All right, Phil. Judge's choice. So a lot of times we'll give the judge's choice to a team that really redeems themselves. They come in. They're a pain in the ass. They're just arguing about everything every time. And then eventually they come around and realize that we're here to have fun. What well, didn't happen here? You were all pains in the ass. Everybody here was an innocent man falsely accused. 
received by a system to crush their will, etc. That's just typically our next step back. So, because of that, I'm going to give the uh, Judges' Choice Award to the team that, well, they blew the rear end in their car, uh, yeah, amazingly because the car has about 19 horsepower, and the only car like theirs they could find was in the middle of a swamp in, I don't know, whatever hill of the country is around here, but two miles off into a swamp, off a dirt road, and they got a call back from the guy who was selling it, who they managed to talk into, towing the car out of the swamp, you know, behind his tractor, and it turned out then the whole rear end housing was full of rust, and they had to swap differentials, it was a nightmare, and they did it, and I'm so impressed that I'm going to give the judges choice to number 46, the Dotson 210. Thank you, thank you. 
All right, we're done here, everybody. Thank you for being here. We'll be back in New England soon. We're going to do a bunch of races next year here. Thanks for being here. Drive home safe. Bye-bye.
Oh my gosh, guys, this, is, this has been going for about two hours. This is my thing. This is such a